Well, it's Saturday, and I'm just going to take a day and relax. Hey, Mom just called and said that she has some extra hostas if we want to get some to put in that little area in the driveway. I think today I'm just going to you know, hang out and watch TV and just relax. Well, it really needs to be done today or those hostas are going to die. So can we do it today? I'm not doing that today. There's no way I'm doing that. No. Don't say a freaking word. Hey, the woman can cook. What do you want me to do? We got our driveway done, and we got this little spot in the middle here. We're going to plant some hostas around it, and then put a tree in the middle, and then I have some pine straw I'm going to put in it. I guess the first thing I need to do is get all this grass out of here. I need a tractor. It's going to take forever. Oh, yeah. This is a great idea. Great idea. Who would want to do this for a living? Who? Not me. I'm just getting all the big stuff out of it. I got some of that bedding material that you put over it. Should kill the rest of this grass. Ooh, I better get a good supper tonight. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. That's what I call good enough. Well, I'm headed to get a tree. Not exactly sure what kind of tree it is. She wants this kind of draping tree. Supposed to look like an umbrella. I live in the middle of nowhere, so I have to drive 30 minutes to a greenhouse. And oh man. Hey, I'm coming back with a tree. I can guarantee you that. I'm getting a tulip tree. Well, I got a tulip tree. I didn't see any of those draping trees, but I got the okay from the boss to get the tulip tree. She likes those, so we're gonna roll with that. My mother-in-law is redoing her flower bed, and uh, they took all these out yesterday. These are hostas. These were free. Free's good. I like free. This probably saved me a few hundred dollars having to buy the plants. The tree was like almost $40 with taxes. And then I went and got some pine straw mulch, and some uh, garden bed lining, and it was $120. So, we got about $160 in it. That's not bad. Landscaping stuff is expensive. I'm just gonna lay all these hostas out and see where we're at, make sure I have enough, and then we'll dig and plant them all in a big circle here. After that, we should be smooth sailing. Probably gonna have to separate some of these, but I'm gonna make sure we got enough. You couldn't ask for a nicer day. It's like 73 degrees. Man, it feels good out here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have enough. It's gonna be pretty when it gets done. I'm gonna have to separate some of these bigger uh, hostas to make, make enough for the rest of it, but pretty close. Whew. Take some of these bigger ones and just separate them. All right, now we just got to plant them. Oh, this is going to be the fun part. Digging all this up. Dig it up and plant her in there. There's one thousand more to go. <laughs> Oof. I don't want to plant them too close together because they'll, they'll eventually get spread out and get a lot bigger than this. It's going to do them about a foot apart. All right, my mother-in-law came and enlightened me that I was doing all this wrong. So apparently you're supposed to break these into smaller chunks. I was putting huge chunks in here because they'll grow to like two to three foot in diameter. So that's what we're doing now. I was about to have some Jurassic Park plants going on out here. Hey, go big or go home. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a landscape artist, okay? Take this chunk, cut that one in half. Now we got a little smaller plant. Duh. What was you thinking, Stacy? Man, yeah, that looks good. 
they told me there's hostas up there go get them and plant them in a circle okay what we have here is a communication problem all right well i'm about halfway done Woo. i hate digging stuff Ooh, i didn't broke a sweat out here i got all these hostas planted in a circle so I did them about a foot and a half apart because apparently they get really big and they'll fill in all these gaps. So don't look like much right this second, but give it a few months. Apparently they grow like wildfire. All right. Does that look like center? Pretty close. Maybe right here. Looks like the center. Got us a tulip tree. I don't think landscaping was my calling. Whew, man. All right, let's dig this hole. Man, I hate digging stuff. Yeah! I wonder how much it would cost if I hired this out. I got like $160 in it, so probably about $2,000. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm saving myself a bunch of money. I like that. As high as groceries are right now, I gotta save every bit I get. I think I'm spending it faster than I'm making it. It's not good. My wife says you can't take it with you. Well, I gotta have a little lead on, you know. God, did they super glue this bucket on? Yeah. Man, yeah. Tulip tree. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> Perfect. Look how good that looks. That's going to be pretty in a few years. Stills landscaping. $100 a minute. Let's put the matting down now. Probably doing this all wrong. It's going to be pretty for about a week, okay? I haven't had the best experience with this stuff, but I'm going to put it down anyways. Maybe to keep some of the weeds out of it. I bought these little landscaping pans. I guess it helps keep that stuff down. Probably going to regret putting this down. I think we're going to have just enough. All right. Perfect. Look how good that looks. Whew. It's getting hot out here. Let's see here. Maybe right there. There. Something like that. What do you think? All right, we have to put a stick on that to keep it up. Netting. Man, I'm like dang Martha Stewart out here. Who? Three more. Gosh. Got some worms in the dirt. Hey, that's good. It's probably a garden woman looking at me. Shaking her head right now. Oh. It's all coming together now, people. I think I'm going to get some uh, sticks and put beside these plants. Keep them straight up till they get rooted in good. Went and cut me some sticks. And put them beside these lilies till they get rooted in real good. You remember that movie, Dennis the Menace, where that Mr. Wilson was all into his garden stuff? That's the way I feel right now. That girl at Piggly Wiggly said the pine straw was $10 each. I was like, oh my gosh, I'll take eight of them. You believe my wife ain't even been out here to check on me? She works on the weekend, so I get it. She's got a work from home job, nursing. Must be nice.
Okay. okay. What do y'all think? Make it look good? Let me go get your water hose here. Spray these down good. I like it. Put that black paper under it too. So, so here we go. Well, the wife's happy with it. I appreciate you watching and subscribe, please, and I'll catch you next time.